to welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today is Friday freebie day this is number 161 so we're on a sort of like a new set of um, Friday freebies um, and it is now autumn can you believe um, so I did this now this is one of my mixed media um, paintings that I did and I've made it into like a little book cover for you um, so I've got like a little spine down the middle um, and this is the one this is the uh, mixed media that I did and then this is obviously your back page so really really lovely so I thought we'd sort of like do um, a few sort of autumn -y themed ones this in this uh, sort of set of four now I'll show you what I've done I'll show you what it looks like um, it looks like this now this is one of my words that I put on it but I am just loving it and to me it almost looks like a little sort of gardening book because I've actually got some sort of like twine in there today which is this one which I've used um, which is lovely um, and I've just popped in a few bits of tea stained coffee stained paper which I think looks really, really lovely. Um, so it's quite nice. If you've got some sort of like friends that like to garden and they want to just pop a few little notes in there, it's quite a nice one even to pop into their little um, a Christmas gift or a little birthday gift gift or something like that so really simple to do now the word that has come from my autumnal butterflies um digital kit now this is where it's come from um i've cut out some of the words and some of the butterflies on there i'll pop a link down to that kit anyway underneath i've already um done the inside so what i've got i've got some tea stain paper it's just a4 and i've just sort of like cut it in half and then folded them in half like that so just I think there's like three or four pages on there so fabulous really really simple to do I've tried to make it so we don't use or waste paper um, so there we go this is it cut out now this has got like the little spine now I haven't printed on the back because I want to make it a little bit thicker now because that's quite thin I've printed on to 160 GSM and I've also printed um, one of my backing papers as well um, the tea coffee stain papers so I'm going to stick this on to here so it's just a little bit thicker but first of all I want to score down here now I'm not going to score I'm just going to fold so what I'm going to do make sure I'm in that sort of like line on there level this up and just go down like that so that's your first line really simple now again you can score it if you want to but you don't have to you can just fold it oopsie daisy let's go this way go on to the edge here like this fold that just pinch it there where that little bit is and then if you've cut this straight then you can just line this up with that edge there and then just go all the way up like that so there we go nice and straight so that's our little spine there can you see so we've got like a little spine just really perfect and that just fits perfect so that's that bit now what I'm going to do I'm going to glue this I hope this isn't going to go blurry on there I'm going to just stick it down with, gosh, with some um, glue stick so just a bit of glue stick on here I will sew around it because I do like sewing um, but again if you don't want to sew it doesn't matter you don't have to let's pop my little booklet up there out of the way let's just stick this down just a little bit of glue through there okay perfect and now what I'm going to do I'm just going to pop that on there I'm not going to go right up to the edge I'm just going to stick it down like that so then I can cut around it so it's nice and neat perfect so I think I will just go over just like that just to make sure we are stuck down perfect lovely lovely get my little fiscus trimmer out now this is a nice quick one really it's really easy to do you don't have to use um, tea stain paper inside it you can just use whatever papers you've got 
any scrap papers or anything like that um, just use those to put inside of your little booklet and again you don't even have to use it as a little booklet you can use it however you like I didn't cut that very straight did I I will have to have a little trim up I think let's move these bits out of the way there we go and then this one here okay perfect I'm just going to get my scissors I'm just going to just cut that little bit off there just the little white bit now you can ink that so you don't have to have it perfect so there we are now before I fold it again what I'm going to do I'm just going to go around the outside with my sewing machine um, so there we go that's the inside and then that's the outside so I'm just going to go around that with the sewing machine if you don't sew then just miss this um, step so two seconds okay so there we go love it really really simple just a quick little stitch around the outside now let me just get my little Fiskars um, scissors now I absolutely love these scissors because they they got the little spring and they sort of like open up so it's a lot easier to um, trim and cut things so let me just quickly I've still got a little white edge around here so let's just pop a little bit of ink around the outside so again take a little bit more time than me um, I'm in actually a little bit of a rush today I'm trying to I am while you're watching this I will be in Spain so I'm preparate preparating preparing videos um, before I go so I'm in a little bit of a sort of rush because um, I've got lots and lots to organise before um, I go away. But look at that, love it, absolutely love it. Now, because we've um, scored that already, or bent that already, it's so much easier to bend. Look, let's do that. Take that and just fold that down like that. And again, on this side, let's just bend that like that so much easier just make sure your little bits are level let's go this way like that just make sure the edges are level and fold that down now you can get your little tool just to, to flatten that like that so perfect let's do this side shall we again lovely and that's our little spine I've only put a little spine in there because it's only sort of I've done it so it's only sort of like one signature in there um, which is lovely which fits perfectly with our little bits of paper like that perfect now this is just a plain one but again you can obviously embellish it and put pages in if you want to of um, digital kits my um, postcards fit in here as well out of the autumnal kit so that would look lovely in here as well so I might add a few bits of those but that's perfect right so now we're going to sew it in so what I'm going to do I'm going to do this bit last I'm going to make holes in here first so I've got my little book look at the state of my book I think I need a new one I keep saying that don't I I'm going to let's go this way put that down like that I'm going to go in the middle like that one there and then one there so should we have that as the top or the bottom because I need to do this one as well so I'm going to fold that over I'm going to keep it here now what we want to do I'm going to do it this way round pop that down so I've got something to sit on so this, where I've done this, it's really difficult to punch holes in it when it's in there, when we've got this tiny little spine, okay, because it, it will want to go to the little folded section of it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it around this way. We're going to pop this so it's sort of level. We've got a little um, equal in between. 
and then I'm going to take my little ball and I'm going to measure from this little dot there in the middle and again in the middle just line it up where your little holes are now again you don't have to sew it in you can staple it in if you prefer to staple it and you're not um, happy about sewing yet then just staple it in that's fine but there we go and this will just fit in there perfect I'm going to take my I've already threaded my um, needle with some twine this is quite a thin one this one I got out of the flying tiger or tiger or whatever it's called now but you can just buy it you know by string or twine wherever um, you can use embroidery thread as well now actually I'm going this way aren't I I'm going to do it from this side because I want to have a little bow on the outside so I want it on the outside not the inside so on the inside you can see it's like that so I just wanted the bow on the outside today so I'm going from the outside in so we'll go through there and then through here like that pull this through make sure we're level because we don't have that many pieces of um, paper in there it should be easy to do well saying that I'm not the best at sewing signatures in. I do make a bit of a palaver about it for some reason. Let's go through there. There we go. Oh, this one's going quite easily, isn't it? Let's go through there. And then we want to go back through the middle. Let's just pull that out of the way. Pop that down through there. And there we go perfect look at that simple take our needle off I'm going to pop that back in my box and then I'm going to do exactly the same as you do from the inside just pull that tight can you see there just so lovely absolutely perfect oh, let's just pop it like this I'm going to do a little knot just like that and then I'm going to do a little bow because I think that looks nice with a little bow not too, not too big and then I'm going to do a little knot at the end just so it doesn't fray there's the end just do a little knot like that one on this side There we go. Oops. Just cut that off. There we go. Fold that down and look at that. I just, I really do think that looks like a little gardening one because obviously you use string to tie up plants and things in the garden. But look at that. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now I will pop the um, video down of the actual um, mixed media that I did on this one because I just love it. Now I'm going to take, these are from the autumnal, uh, autumnal butterfly kit and it's got some beautiful little words. We've got dream, believe and inspire if I can pick it up. And I just thought these would look nice so obviously you can put anything you like on there. And embellish it or you don't have to it's nice actually on its own and I did think I was going to just pop a little butterfly on there I've got a couple actually I've got a bigger one there not quite sure but I might just pop this little one on just like that let's have a little bit of glue so we will have what should we put where should we put them dream believe and inspire it's quite nice on that little sort of box bit there isn't it i'm going to pop inspire on first just a little bit of glue pop 
you on there. And we want to have is that straight? Straight-ish, isn't it? Don't put too much glue on because it just sort of like goes over. I might just have it just so it goes over a little bit. And then this one. Again, you've probably got lots of words and phrases. I've got lots of words and phrases. You can put whatever you like on it, but I just think that looks lovely, doesn't it? Shall we have this big butterfly? I think it looks really lovely. I'm not even going to put any um, cheesecloth under it, believe it or not. I'm going to put it on just like that. Because if it's like a little gardening one, it's quite nice to have a butterfly on there, isn't it? Like that. Squash that down. That's beautiful. Love it. So that's the beginning of our sort of series or set of four of sort of autumn ones. I'd like to do a sort of autumn one soon. We've got, um, we're in autumn now. It's quite nice, isn't it? So there we go, guys. That is your Friday freebie. Don't forget, pop along to Kofi. Um and pick up your free um, paper as well. Um, I haven't got it to hand at the moment because I forgot, but you will have a little surprise because there'll be one in there for you as well. So that's your lovely Friday freebie. I hope you love it. Um, I am thinking it's really, really lovely and it's nice to have a lovely little journal. So pop over to the Facebook group. This is in there. I've got all the links down below um, ready for you. So just click on those. I've got the kits. I've got all the links of everything. So just pop under the video and, and you'll be able to find them. So there we go, guys. Have a fantastic rest of the day. A wonderful weekend. Um, like I said, I am in Spain. So I am going to be having a fabulous time with my grandchildren. Um, and my daughter and her husband um, and of course Andy we will be eating and having lots of fun I am sure so please take care stay safe and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.